The state's finance minister has been sacked in dramatic circumstances. Let's go live to state political reporter Kevin Wilde at Parliament House. Kevin, Greg Pearce has been shown the door. Indeed, Pete. He survived being drunk here at Parliament. He also survived a travel rort scandal, but it was an unrelated breach of the ministerial code of conduct that got him in the end. Back in 2011, just a few months into becoming the minister, there was a clear breach. He appointed his wife, Shauna's boss, to the board of Sydney Water. At the very least, he should have told the Premier, his boss, about the potential conflict of interest. You know, this is not a day that I wanted to happen. No one ever wants to lose a member of a team, but this is another reminder of the need to maintain the best possible and the highest possible standards in government. So this is either jobs for the boys or just plain stupidity. Either way, it takes attention away from Labor's corruption woes. The multi-millionaire former MP emerged from his mansion for a spray at his critics. This is nothing short of a political witch hunt against myself and McDonald, and um, it's backed up by the O'Farrell government. He also lashed out at Labor, the party that expelled him, with special mentions for leader John Robertson and head office boss Sam Dastiari. They're not true Labor leaders. They're cowards who do not stick up for the truth and the rights of an individual. His accusers at the ICAC were next. Their mission was to, to blame and shame and show Labor is corrupt and ugly. And the morons from the Labor Party in, in Macquarie Street fell for it. The fact is that the ALP house in New South Wales is rotten to the core and nothing seems to have changed. Almost two years ago, another former ALP minister, Tony Kelly, was also found corrupt by the ICAC, this time over a land deal. And this afternoon, the DPP decided there wasn't enough evidence for a criminal charge. This is an embarrassment for the ICAC and underlines the arguments being made by both Eddie O'Bead and Ian MacDonald that what the Commission considers good evidence is actually disregarded by the real prosecutors. If the DPP don't take it to court, we will. Because I'm not going to have this hanging over my head. I've given 20 years of service to the New South Wales Parliament and I am a very respected person by all those that dealt with me. Not anymore. Kevin Wilde, Nine News.